What is going on guys and welcome to this division video on patch 1.1 the upcoming patch for incursions Let's get right into it guys today I'm going to take this video on a little bit of a different path I'm going to just relax drink my cup of coffee and talk to you guys as if I was talking to one of my buddies down the road So we're just going to get right into it. So first off there's a new incursion. Now, what's an incursion? Well, I'm going to explain what the new one is. It's called Falcon Lost. And Falcon Lost is a new incursion available in the, sorry if I butcher this, the Stovestant, I can't even pronounce that area. You guys are going to have to correct me in the comments down below. Whoever can correct me, I'll give you guys something from Control Freak or something like that. <laughs> Um, you must be level 30 and have completed the mission a General Assembly to access this mission. So basically, you're going to have to have completed the game's storyline. And the encounter is balanced for four players with high level gear. Think of this like the Nightfall or even a raid. And then you have gear sets that come up next. And gear sets, equip, gear set equipment can be found by completing the most challenging activities in Manhattan. Collecting and wearing gear sets grants powerful stat bonuses and talents. Here's just a few examples. The different gear sets that they've given us are four. The first one is... Tactician's Authority, which is enhances electronics and support capabilities, so you're able to use your electronics more as well as heal more. Then you have Striker's Battle Gear, provides bonuses for assault capabilities, basically your run and gun. Sentry's Call, which just sounds badass, is enhances marksman capabilities, and this is basically so you can do one shots with your explosive bullets like I do. And then you have Path of the Nomad, provides bonuses for lone wanderers. So basically, if you're a lone player, this is what you want to go. If you only care about your stats and no one else is not supporting your team, this is what you want to go as. Coming up next after the gear sets is trading. And trading is something that a lot of players have been asking for in similar games such as Destiny, and The Division have finally done it the right way. Items dropped by enemies can be shared with other players. Trade items by dropping them as loot from your inventory so players in your group can pick them up. You can only share items for the first two hours after you acquired them. Now, I don't know if this is for crafting things as well or just picking up in the world. We're going to have to see. But items can only be shared with players who are currently in your group and who were also there in your group when the item was originally dropped. So it says dropped, but maybe we could find a way around it by crafting items and giving it to our friends. Because I know I'm able to roll high-end vectors and my buddy Frenchie, he still needs a bit of RNG. Then you have assignments. Now, what are assignments? Well, assignments are basically your bounties from Destiny. Assignments are automatically obtained when you log in and can be tracked from the map on the menu called Mission Overview. Assignments are available for a limited time, 24 for daily ones and 7 days for weekly assignments, after which they will be replaced by randomized different assignments. That's the one I'm looking forward to, the fact that it's randomized, that it's not set in stone. Most assignments can be completed while playing alone, but some will still require other agents' assistance to complete. Assignments come in different categories, combat, dark zone, and crafting. And we're going to get into crafting in the end of this video, so I recommend you guys listen up. So, when it comes to the dark zone supply drops, what are these? A lot of people have been seeing these. Well, dark zone supply drops are global events where the Strategic Homeland Defense Agency airdrops multiple supply crates to assist division agents. Gonna have to take a sip of coffee now. I hope you're all gonna take a sip of coffee with me. Mm. Supply drops will occur multiple times over the course of the day. I did read somewhere that they're going to be every hour, so do look out for that. The supply drops will contain, now listen to this, non-contaminated gear of all types ready to be used within, it, it doesn't need extraction. You can just pick it up and use it straight away. Now, that means there's going to be a ton of rogues, so watch your back. These supply drops will be heavily sought after by other agents and enemy factions in the dark zone. So, get ready for some resistance. What it means by energy factions, enemy factions is that you could see a group of cleaners or you could see a group of rikers or rioters, whatever you want to call them, up next to your supply drop. Coming up next, then, after that, we have gear score. Every non-vanishy piece of gear that can be found when your agent is level 30 has a gear score value. The higher the value, the greater the gear score, the stronger the item. The overall gear score of your agent can be seen in the main menu next to your player level. Gear score indicates the advancement of an agent. So higher gear score, better you are. Other agents' gear scores can be displayed next to their health bars. So as you can see right now on the screen, you'll be able to see, you know, the Gaming Chewy or my one. It'll actually say next to it then instead of 30. It'll say 
one, two, three, two, 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 something along the lines of that. Improving your gear and increasing your overall gear score will grant you access will grant your agent access to the most dangerous high-end challenges. That means that there's going to be more to come that will have to do with your gear score. And something everyone has been asking for, group spectator camera. <sighs> Thank you God. Are you sick and tired of just dying in the dark zone and looking at everyone teabagging your body while your friend runs away? Well, the group spectator cam lets players spectate members of their group while waiting to be revived or the entire group to go down. That's probably it. Anyway, whenever someone goes down, they all go down. Players can use RB, LB, R1, L1, or Q and E keys to switch between group members. And this is one I've actually been waiting for. It's new high-end named weapons. They've added new ones called, which is the Warlord, which is the assault rifle, the Valkyrie, Oh my god, the submachine gun, I'm gonna have to get it. And the Historian Marksman Rifle. But listen to this. It won't, well, the Historian will be implemented in the game with this update. It will not be acquirable in the until 1.2 update. So the update after this one, you will be able to get the Historian. There's probably something broken with it, so they're probably trying to fix it. And now we have game changes. The most important ones that everyone has been going after. Game changes are going to be your Phoenix credits. So... Phoenix credit drop have been increased on level 31 and 32 named enemies. 30 enemies drop 1 to 3 credits, level 31 drop 2 to 4 credits, and level 32 drop 3 to 5 credits. I don't know if your scavenging will affect this, but we'll have to wait and see. In the Dark Zone, the vendor in the church safe house will now sell items in Dark Zone funds instead of Phoenix credits, which is probably good because we'll be able to get other weapons instead of the stupid safe house or, you know, base of operations, special vendor who's just selling the same stuff and everyone has the same gear. <laughs> ranks uh, ranks requirement for superior and high-end quality items in the Dark Zone vendors have been adjusted. Superior purple items rank 15 instead of 30. High-end gold level 30 gear score 163 rank 25 instead of 50. And high-end gold level 31 gear score 1A2 rank 40 instead of 50. It's nice to see that the level 30 and 31 have such a high difference in gear score, 182 instead of 163 for just one level. It's actually nice the way they've done that so it isn't just like, oh, I put this on and I'm going to get one extra gear score. It's going up pretty, pretty high. Now, we're going to finish this video on a sad note and crafting has been fucked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to say this. I don't know if they've buffed the crafting or whatever, but so far it's been fucked. They've added a new level 31 and 32 high-end items blueprints to vendors. They've removed division tech requirements from some level 31 high-end blueprints. And this is where a lot of you are going to probably click off the video, dislike it, or go rage on Twitter. Preferably the last one. <laughs> um, they've increased the cost for converting crafting materials and crafting high-end items. 10 green materials instead of 5 to craft 1 blue. 15 blue instead of 5 to craft 1 gold. 10 gold materials instead of 8 to craft 1 level 31 high-end gold item. Now, just let that sink in. I would stock up on all of your crafting materials starting now. You 6 days. Get to it. They've changed destruction yield. No, sorry. They've changed the deconstruction yield of standard green and high-end gold items. So when you deconstruct a green item, you get one instead of two materials and if you deconstruct a gold item you'll get one instead of two high-end material items so basically they're making it so it's not everyone just has to craft gear they're making it so you will uh, you will rely on their rng a lot more hopefully they fix this and they make it so we can get a lot more division tech and other blue materials a lot easier but as i said that is to be you know, wait and see. Now, I am so I do apologize if I've stuttered a lot in this video. I do have a cold, and I was very hesitant to make this video because I was like, oh, no, I'm going to fuck up. You guys are going to be like, oh, no, he's fucked up. The video shit. Well, hopefully this video brought you the information you needed. Um, a link to a Reddit post will be there if you want to read it all for yourself. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you did enjoy this one. Peace out, and have an amazing day. Leave the lights on